Today I'm going to show you how I made this concrete lamp on Handcrafted by Paul. To start the project, I'm using Quickrete 5000 for the concrete for my local Home Depot. The mold is going to be made out of two sewer line pipes, which is cheaper than the regular PVC piping. One at 4 inches on diameter and one at 6 inches will result in a 1 inch thick walls. To cut the pipe to the one foot length I'm using a jigsaw, but you could also use a miter saw or even a hand saw if you want to kick it old school. To make it easier to release the concrete from the pipe once cured, I'm wiping the pipes with paste wax. Also, the base that I will be pouring the concrete onto will receive a layer of masking tape to aid in the release. To prevent the pipe from moving as I pour the concrete and to provide a seal, I'm using hot glue around the base. Once the inner mold has been glued into place, I can do the same thing with the outer mold, making sure it's centered. When mixing concrete, it's best to add a little water as you go to get the perfect consistency. Unlike mine, what you're shooting for is the consistency of pancake batter. Mine was a little watery. Once thoroughly mixed, you can scoop the concrete into the mold. I was pretty messy about it, but I'm sure there's a probably a better way to do this. There's probably some fancy equation to find out the perfect amount of concrete to make for the mold, but I just guessed on that, which wasn't the best idea because I had to make an extra batch to get to the desired height. But hey, it is what it is. But if you wanted to remove them, just take an oscillating tool like a sander and put it against the PVC pipe in various locations to get the bubbles out. After about 40 hours, all my patience was about to pay off and I could start demolding this bad Jesse. At first I tried to tap it a few times with a hammer in hopes that it would release but no luck. The inner mold required the use of a wooden block and light taps with a hammer but eventually the PVC popped out like a mother giraffe giving birth to their baby. The outer PVC was a little more tricky. Using a wooden block and a hammer did not work so I had to break out the heavy machinery. After two light cuts with the oscillating tool, the mold finally released from the concrete and as you could tell, I was pretty happy. Wow! I cut through it! <coughs> Next, I lay out and cut the pine board for the base. There will be two circles, one on the inside of the lamp. This will hold the lamp socket. The second circular base will be the same diameter as the lamp itself. This will prevent the concrete from accidentally scratching anything the lamp is set on.
pour the glue up on sanding the base up to 180 grit. To allow clearance for the water, I'm cutting a little groove with a chisel. If you have a palm router, you could also use that, but I don't have one, so I'm kicking it old school. I start off by gluing the inner circle directly to the socket. I'm just using hot glue just in case I need to make any changes in the future, and because it cools really fast. Next I can glue the base directly to the lamp. The hot glue was not sticking to the concrete so I had to use 5 minute epoxy which worked fine in the end. While I'm at it I also glue the wire inside the groove. To provide more grip to the lamp and prevent it from falling off the table and accidentally breaking someone's foot, I'm adding these little cork squares and cutting it flush with a utility knife. Lastly, after thoroughly shaking the can, I can apply three coats of spray powder or thing. This helps to seal in any loose particles in the concrete. With that, the concrete lamp is all done. This is my first concrete lamp and I think it turned out great. I love the cold and rough look of the concrete, contrasted with the warm and inviting look of the wood. Now let's see this thing lit up. If you have anything you want me to make out of concrete, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.